An Elegy by Lubbid ibn Rabia al-Amiri Translated by J. D. Carlyle Those dear abodes which once contained the fair Amidst Mitata's wilds I seek in vain Nor towers, nor tents, nor cottages are there But scattered ruins and a silent plain the proud canals that once Rayana graced, their course neglected and their waters gone, among the leveled sands are dimly traced, like moss-grown letters on a moldering stone. Rayana, say, how many a tedious year its hallowed circle o'er our heads hath rolled, since, to my vows, Thy tender maids gave ear, and fondly listened to the tale I told. How oft since then the star of spring, that pours a never-failing stream, hath drenched thy head! How oft the summer cloud in copious showers, or gentle drops its genial influence shed! How oft since then the hovering mist of morn hath caused thy locks with glittering gems to glow. How oft hath Eve her dewy treasures borne to fall responsive to the breeze below. The matted thistles, bending to the gale, now clothe those meadows once with verdure gay. Amidst the windings of that lonely vale the teeming antelope and ostrich stray. The large-eyed mother of the herd that flies man's noisy haunts here finds a sure retreat, here watches o'er her young, till age supplies strength to their limbs and swiftness to their feet. Save where the swelling stream hath swept those walls, and given their deep foundations to the light, as the retouching pencil that recalls a long-lost picture to the raptured sight. Save where the rains have washed the gathered sand and bared the scanty fragments to our view, as the dust, sprinkled on a punctured hand, bids the faint tints resume their azure hue. No mossy record of those once-loved seats points out the mansion to inquiring eyes. No tottering wall, in echoing sound, repeats our mournful questions and our bursting sighs. Yet, midst those ruined heaps, that naked plain, can faithful memory former scenes restore. Recall the busy throng, the jocund train, and picture all that charmed us there before. Ne'er shall my heart the fatal morn forget that bore the fair ones from these seats so dear. I see, I see the crowding litters yet, and yet the tent poles rattle in my ear. I see the maids with timid steps descend, the streamers wave in all their painted pride, the floating curtains every fold extend, And vainly strive the charms within to hide. What graceful forms those envious folds enclose! What melting glances through those curtains play! Sure, Huayra's antelopes, or Tuda's rose, Through yonder vales their sportive young survey. The band moved on, to trace their steps I strove. I saw them urge the camel's hastening flight, Till the white vapor, like a rising grove, Snatched them forever from my aching sight. Nor since that morn have I Nawara seen. The bands are burst which held us once so fast. Memory but tells me that such things have been, and sad reflection adds that they are past.